Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be reviewing for you the Outback Mate Soap. So here is what Outback Mate looks like. Pretty cool design. Unfortunately, Lush is not going to be doing this sort of design anymore for the Outback Mate Soap. They're all going to be turned into this sort of block style soap like this with the Lush, uh, what do you call it, name down the side. So I'm a little bit upset but um, about that, but please keep that in mind as well. If you do order online or go into a shop, the, the, um, the shape of the soap is probably going to be a lot different to this, just to keep in mind. So the ingredients for this product are eucalyptus infusion, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, glycerine, uh, propylene glycol, water, extra virgin coconut oil, eucalyptus oil, lemongrass oil, peppermint oil, uh, and some other bits and pieces, citric acid, that sort of thing. So this soap, I love that it's inspired by where I've grown up and lived my whole life and been born, which is Australia. So apparently the story behind this soap was some of um, the Australian Lushies uh, way back when, ages and ages ago, uh, I'm guessing this is sort of when Lush came to Australia, which was around sort of 1997, that sort of time. So a few years after Lush was taking off in the UK um, and they sort of said, oh, we'd love a soap with eucalyptus and, you know, something a little bit more Australian um, in terms of scent, just because people in Australia, I wouldn't say everyone, but most people here love using things like eucalyptus and tea tree, especially if they're into more sort of natural alternatives. People love using eucalyptus oil in their laundry um, you know, to keep away pests and things like that. Um, so it is a sort of a part of our culture to use those essential oils um, in our everyday lives. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think this soap did a good job of that. And I quite like the concept and the origins of it. Now, in terms of the ingredients and the scent ingredients, the eucalyptus oil, the lemongrass and the peppermint, oh, that is definitely there. It is all definitely there. Um, eucalyptus and the peppermint um, and that tea tree sort of smell, all definitely there. Uh, the lemongrass is definitely there. I thought it was lemon myrtle that was the ingredient for Outback Mate, but they might have changed it. Um, I definitely smell more, to, more of a lemon myrtle kind of smell. Now, lemon myrtle is basically sort of like a eucalyptus type thing as well, but it has a lemon type smell as well. So... Yeah, and if you're not sort of familiar with eucalyptus tea tree, all that sort of stuff, it is basically like quite a strong sort of menthol -y smell, but it is, it is quite herbally as well. Um, it does smell like, you know, trees. <laughs> not in a woodsy sense, but, you know, it is, it is meant to smell like that, basically. Um, and I love it. I When I first smelt this um, a year ago, back when my tastes were a little bit different, I was like, I really don't want to put eucalyptus and tea tree on my body because I was obviously referring back to the way I normally use tea tree, which is, you know, in your laundry to sanitize wounds, things like that. So it kind of smells a little bit medical to me. I know that sounds a bit weird, but I, I know there are going to be people out there who have similar connotations and associations with certain scents. You sort of remember certain senses yes, it was that time that that happened to me or something like that. Um, and that can be pleasant or, um, you know, unpleasant. It just depends on your situation. And it just sort of reminded me of all those times when I had tea tree oil put on wounds and stuff like that, and it would sting like heck and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So kind of took me back to that place <laughs> for a while. But I really like this scent. I really do. And I think it makes you feel really clean, which you know, ironically, that's kind of what it does in a medical sense as well. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I think it's one of the most strongly scented soaps in Lush's range, definitely. I think it's great for men and women. I, could, I can see it being used by either. It's a truly unisex smell. And I like the fact that it is not too soft in terms of the bar. It is one of those more firmer bars. So what that means is that it tends to not disappear super quickly um, when you use it because some of Lush's soaps are so full of good oils and um, oils that melt close to body temperature 
that the soap tends to get used up really, really quickly. So I have a feeling that Lush have sort of been tinkering with the formulas a little bit and playing around with them um, and getting them just right. And I feel like this has a perfect formula in terms of a soap and being used in that way. Um, so yeah, I think it's a five out of five product. It's almost un-Australian to say it is anything less than a five out of five product. Um, but yeah, I, I genuinely do like this product and I'm so glad I bought it. And it does actually bring back nice memories of, you know, I used to, you know, sorry, just to go off on another tangent. I, you know, when I was in primary school, which, you know, in terms of America, that sort of elementary school, that sort of thing. I remember, you know, we had eucalyptus trees because I used to live in the country um, and, you know, in a very sort of nature rich environment. And we used to have eucalyptus trees. We used to have koalas. We used to chase koalas um, for fun, you know, um, which sounds so Australian and crazy. But I promise you it's the truth. Um, they didn't, they weren't always there, but it, it sort of takes me back to that time um, of smelling those eucalyptus leaves and that smells so strongly. And also when the koalas eat them, obviously you can smell them when they're chewing them um, and the sort of aroma that gets released. And it just reminds me of that more simpler time when all you had to worry about was hearing for a bell to go back and learn, you know, and you didn't have to worry about money and you didn't have to worry about any, you know, big world problems at that age, you know, uh, what I would give to go back to childhood for a little while at least. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that review and that little anecdote and my thoughts on it and um, my thoughts on it as an Australian, um, you know, being inspired by Australia and everything like that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more reviews. I'm always pumping out more content. So, you know, stay tuned. Subscribe if you like, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.